Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Health Live at CES 2014. We just got done with the panel called Brace Yourself. Your new trainer is your boss. And I have the special guest who's the moderator of the panel. So we have Kristen Van Busem, who's the manager of Health Advisory Services for RAND Corporation. Right. That's right, thank you for having me, yes. So welcome out from Boston, how was the flight? Hey, it was fine. Um, we are actually getting slightly warmer weather than most of middle America right oh, now, right. so I'm not complaining, that's right. It's much colder much colder there than here, but I made it out here and I'm happy to be here. Cool. So what, you have an interesting background. Tell everybody about yourself. Um, sure. So I've been at RAND Corporation for uh, three and a half years now, and we recently started Health Advisory Services. And um, we've done uh, quite a bit of research around workplace wellness programs, which has been really exciting, which is what we talked about on the panel today. So we learned a lot about what is and is not working in the workplace wellness space, and it's uh, something that we are doing uh, plenty of continuing uh, research on over the next couple of years. So it sounds like a hot potato topic. What was, what was hot? What was, what was going on there? Yeah, sure. So um, I personally learned a lot because um, typically we look at wellness programs from a 35,000 foot view and I don't have the opportunity to really learn about all the innovations on the ground and it's exciting to see how um, innovators are now figuring out ways to engage employees so they're more excited about health and wellness. Um, some of the panelists have really found ways to help uh, employees become their own authority. So they're monitoring their own behaviors. Um, you don't have someone playing big brother in a paternalistic role. Yeah. So it's really helping people be the owner of their own health, which I think is really exciting and, and a challenge that many employers have had. What kind of education or what questions do new employers have with these types of programs? Yeah, so a lot of them have, have historically been focused on cost, but we're finding that that's not exactly what we should be focusing on because cost is really hard to measure. Um, so employers are progressively, progressively becoming more interested in how happy are these tools making my employees? Uh, is this in, is increasing morale? Are people being engaged and fired up? And are health outcomes changing? And those are things that we can measure. We can say um, over the course of a couple of years, employees are eating healthier, exercising more, um, or reducing smoking behavior. So, you know, we are finding a lot of promising results in this space, and, and it seems like a lot of the innovations are geared to improving outcomes rather than yeah. promising some falsified costs savings which is really promising. So wearables has been a major theme here in data. How are wearables permeating the workplace of these programs? Yeah, um, so where this is what our whole panel was about. So um, it was all about tracking and monitoring your own fitness activities and your own nutrition and um, also figuring out clever ways for how wearables can be um, used for competition. Um, one thing that's really interesting is we found that uh, employees tend to respond more to social pressure and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The social pressure kind of thing. Yeah, that's right. So um, it's clever ways for having competitions in the workplace rather than saying um, some uh, older programs have said, we'll give you some money if you improve your health or we'll give you some money if you improve engagement. And we're finding that actually social pressure yeah. and, and finding ways to uh, make it part of the, the workplace culture that you need to be healthy yeah. and active is actually more effective. Yeah, my buddy uh, Greg Gottsman, who's a VC in uh, Seattle and Marco, who I work with, we take walk meetings. You take walk meetings? Walk meetings. So what inspires you to take walk meetings then? I think you just get outside and, and, and get out of the office environment and get, get some blood flowing to the brain a little more. So. I think that's a great example of... Uh, a workplace culture that's promoting health um, and I think that's becoming more and more popular and using wearables and um, having individuals be able to track their own progress so you can track how many steps you took on your lunch break yeah. that really puts you in power and control of, of your own health and I think that's really the wave of the future and what this panel is all about and what digital health is all about. All right well I think you nailed it there how do people connect up with you? Oh yeah, so you can you can connect with me at um, you can look me up on the Rand website, yeah. um, and uh, you can contact me at vambusum at rand.org. Um, but we're pretty easy to get a hold of, and um, if you look up if you Google workplace wellness, Rand's report will probably be the first thing to nice. show up. <laughs> All right, Kristen, nice work. Good yeah, to good you. to meet you, and uh, thank you. thanks so much. Yep, thank you. It was wonderful talking.